There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up, what's up, what's up? What's up, you guys? I hope you guys are ready for this tutorial. And so what's up? So you guys, today's tutorial is by a wig company that I have had the pleasure with of working with already, which is HY Hair. And this one here is a Yaki Straight Lace Frontal. 13 by six, comes with an adjustable black elastic removable band and the standard combs and an adjustable strap. See how our wig comes. So let's get into this as you already know the standard thing that I first do is bleach the knots and pre-plug the hairline As I did with this unit right here This is the second time that I've worked with this company and they do have some pretty decent wigs Plus they got some cute ass lashes girl Did y'all see those lashes? They were really really nice So make sure you check them out Now this is what I do on any wig that doesn't fit properly And the hair or the lace is flapping over my actual ears I will part the hair on the wig or the lace on the wig. I'll just make a part directly over my ear like so. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my scissors and cut into that part. So that way that extra lace that is too much for me or too long for me will be cut off and discarded. This is definitely not going to ruin the lace of the unit or ruin the wig in any way. 
But as you guys already know, these are standard units. So each person's head circumference is different. And also each company wig size seems to be different as well. If you don't want to use any type of hairspray or glue, you don't need to because the comfortability is there as well as the fit. I do like to adhere my wigs and this is the way that I choose to adhere my wigs is by parting up long across the hairline of the unit. I will then take my hairspray which is bedhead or I do like the got to be in the pink can. I'll use either one of those and I will spray underneath and also on top of the unit. Now as far as spraying underneath, I don't spray the entire unit underneath, only where the ear taps will be because I find that it's beneficial there to spray both underneath and as well in between the part that was created. However, there's different methods of applying your unit and you just need to choose the one that is more comfortable and suitable to you. Now to dry the hairspray, I will use my blow dryer and I'll use it on a cool to medium heat. Blow drying in sections. Now girl, I always need a good set of sideburns. And plus, I don't know, I'm just into this baby hair this past couple of weeks. So girl, we about to baby hair this bad boy up. And we're going to be definitely using the cheapest product on the market, which is the Salon Selective Styling Mousse. You can get this from your local Dollar Tree. That's right, girl. It's a dollar and it'll definitely make you holler. I've used this in all of my videos. I actually prefer to use this hairstyling mousse versus many others as this one will not lift the unit. It will not make the unit crunchy or get hard or flaky. I have used many different styling mousses prior and they really don't work as good as the one from the Dollar Tree. So make sure you check it out. Now this hair is really nice for it to be a yakky straight. I do like it. I will definitely link everything down below for you guys. So there wasn't any shedding only the issue that I had was that I could have just placed my baby hairs a lot better. I wasn't like really a huge fan of these baby hairs after seeing the video, but you know what? You can't win them all. But as far as the hair, it's some really nice yakky hair. Um, easy to style. The lace is really good. It's very transparent and Swiss, which is a plus. And the wig cap fits amazing. So I'll definitely link all of HY Hair's information down below along with the very first video that I did for them which was their deep wave hair which is absolutely beautiful. I love you all. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.